All right, so the draw for Rome has just come out for the ladies, and we have some big names that are not playing this event. So let's go to the withdrawal list first. Obviously, a lot of names are playing, but they're missing out. Okay, so here are the withdrawals. Only four at this stage. We have Kvitova. She's not playing, of course, for the rest of the year. Mukova, still recovering from surgery. Uh, we've got Pagula, hasn't played at all this clay court season, which is a little bit concerning. And Pushkova pulls out again of another clay court event. Of course, she's won here a couple of times, so that's a little bit disappointing not to see a uh, champion like her play this event, which is uh, a little sad. But uh, let's go have a see and look at who is actually playing in this event. All right, so we have 32 seeds in this one. Every seed gets a buy in the first round. Starting at the top of the draw, we got Shviontek. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Dollarhide or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Treverson taking on Putin Seba. It's a bit of a fireworks match there. They're pretty fiery two players. Winner plays the number 31 seed, Stevens, in the second round. Then you've got 17 seed Kudamatova. She'll play either Davis or Kerber in the second round. And then you've got Schmidlova taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the 14 seed Alexandrova in the second round. Not a bad second for Sviantec. You know, a couple of tricky players, uh, especially for Clay. But I, I don't think she should be too concerned. Of course, you've got to watch out for Sviantec in this section. Got to watch out for Stevens, who won a title a couple of weeks ago. Uh, also, Kudamatova, who made the semis here last year. And also Alexandrova, the four seeds. All capable of Clay tennis. But also watch out for Putin Seba who nearly beat Rabakina last week in Madrid. So, interesting little section, but uh, I don't think Sviantec will be too worried about those names. All right, next section of the draw, you've got the number 12 seed, Adaj Maia. She'll take on either Wong or Yuan in the second round. Then you've got Roos versus Osorio. Winner of that will take on the number 18 seed, Keys, the second round. Then you've got the number 28 seed, Castella. She'll take on either Townsend or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Bogdan and Fernandez. Fun match. Winner to play the number 6 seed, Von Drusova in the second round. So possibly we could be getting Vondi taken off Fernandez in the second round. So that's really, really fun. Uh, but the players to watch out for, obviously, Vondi. You got to watch out for Von Drusova. And Dad Meyer, who took a set off Sriantec last week in Madrid. Got to watch out for her. Keys, who made the semifinals last week in Madrid. Got to watch out for her as well. But also watch out for Fernandez because she can play on all surfaces. And Clay is, uh, is a service that she is capable of. And if she does somehow beat Vondi, she could take that spot and maybe make a bit of a run. So I'd be watching out for Fernandez as well in this section. All right, next section of the draw, you've got Goff, the number three seed. She gets by in the first round. She'll take on either Frey or Kruger in the second round. Then you've got Avanesian taking on Buksha. Winner of that will take on the number 25 seed, Krajikova, in the second round. Then you've got the number 21 seed, Navarro. Gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Andreva or Bedosa in the second round. That is the best first round matchup you're going to get. Uh, Bedosa looking for form. Andreva got into some form last week. Uh, beaten by Sabalenka, but so, so good to make it that far. A really fun first round matchup. Uh, then you got Minnan taking on Schneider. Winner of that will take on the number 15 seed, Samson Nova, in the second round. So, yeah, this section's interesting. There's some really fun matches in this section. And it's kind of like last week. I mean, Goff got a, I wouldn't say that, the, I mean, but she got the toughest draw on paper, then players pulled out. But I'd be watching out for uh, Goff in this section, obviously. You got to watch out for Krajikova. You know, she won a French Open. She hasn't been great lately, but, you know, you still got to watch out for her. Uh, I'd be watching out for Samson Nova as well. Is capable of lighting it up on clay. But that match between Bedosa and Andre. But those two players, watch out for them as well. Because if whoever wins that one, if they can beat Navarro, maybe they can go on a bit of a run and make it far. Next section, you've got Kazakina, number 10 seed. She gets by in the first round. She'll take on either Maria or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Osaka taking on Burl. Winner of that will take on the number 19 seed, Kostyuk, second round. Then you've got the 29 seed, uh, Noskova, taking on an Italian in the second round. Either one of the wild cards, Paganetti or and Stefanini going at it. Then you've got another wild card from Italy, Pagotto. Taking on Rogers, winner of that will take on the number seven seed, Zhang, in the second round. Again, nothing really crazy in this section. I mean, Zhang's not been in good form, so that's really tough to see. I mean, who comes out of this? It's probably kind of open. You know, you've got Osaka, obviously, there as well. Kazakina and Noskova and Kostruk, all capable. you got to watch out for Dasha. Had a good week last week. Also, watch out for Kostruk. Of course, made the final Stuttgart a couple weeks ago. Uh, got to watch out for Osaka. Even though she's not really great on clay, still on the comeback. Interesting to see how she'll, he'll, she'll try and play on this surface. Uh, and look, if Zhang's healthy... You got to watch out for her as well, but she did withdraw last week from the tournament in Madrid, so maybe some injury concern. Of course, this uh, section of the draw will take on the Sviantec section, so if you're going to go by the big seeds, you could go at Sviantec versus Goff in a semi final. Could be getting Sviantec versus Zhang if Zhang you know, comes good. And Zhang did make the quarterfinals last year, so she does know how to play well here. Uh, or we could get uh, between Sviantec and maybe Kazakina if you want to go a little bit different, uh, with Sviantec obviously making it. Or if you want to go different without Sviantec, 
Maybe you go with Goff taking on Vondi. You know, maybe Von Drusova can do something. She did make a French Open final five years ago. Uh, maybe you want to go with uh, Goff taking on, I don't know, a Daj Meyer, who did really well last week as well. But man, it, it's really hard to see uh, anyone but Fiontech and Goff making it this far. But then again, it is WTA and a lot of random things happen. And you know, this time last year, the matches that we got weren't the ones that we expected. So you can never tell. Okay. All right. Next section of the draw, you've got Zachary, the number five seed. She will get a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Desara or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Vekic taking on Sharenko. Winner of that will take on the number 30th seed. And last year's finalist in Rome, Kalanina, in the second round. Then you've got Azarenka, the number 24 seed. She'll take on either Zhu or Lynette in the second round. Then you got Martis taking on Sharif, winner to take on the number 11 seed, Paulini, in the second round. I like this section too. I mean, it's a good section. Of course, uh, Paulini's been work, playing well. Zachary on clay can do well. Obviously, uh, Kalanina making the final here uh, last year. He's definitely somebody to watch out for. But I'd be watching out for Zachary. I'd be watching out for Paulini at home. Really a good opportunity for her to also make the top 10 if she has a good run. Uh, last year's finals, of course, Kalanina. Got to keep an eye on her as well. Uh, and I'd also watch out for Lynette. Nearly beat Sabalinka last week. Made a final on clay a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so maybe watch out for her as well as one of the unseated players in this section. But again, nothing super crazy. Next section of the draw, number 13 seed Collins. Gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Parry or Blinkova in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Cochioretto. Winner of that will take on the number 22 seed Garcia in the second round. Then you've got Mertens, the 27 seed. She takes uh, on either Sinekova or Brancaccio in the second round. Uh, then you've got a qualifier taking on Bagu. Winner of that will take on the number four seed, Rabakina, in the second round. This section might be the most stacked when it comes to clay court ability uh, and seed. Uh, you've got to watch out for Rabakina, defending champion. You've got to watch out for Collins. It's been amazing the last couple of months. Obviously beat Rabakina as well in Miami. So that could be really fun to see that rematch. Got to watch out for Garcia as well. Very capable on this surface. Uh, and I'd also look over Mertens. You know, not maybe not the favorite to get out of this section, but definitely someone to watch out for in this section as well. But so this little section might be the most fun if we get the seeds uh, colliding. Okay, and the next section of the draw, the bottom quarter of the draw, we've got number eight seed Jabur gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Cannon or Bronzetti in the second round. That is tough for Jabur. No matter who that is, Bronzetti at home or Cannon in general, very, very tough. Possible second round. Uh, you've got a qualifier taking on Padoni. Winner of that will take on the number 26 seed, Bolta, in the second round. Then you've got Pavlia Chenkova, the 20th seed. She'll take on either Podoroska or Tormo in the second round. Then you've got Potapova taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on the number 9 seed, Ostapenko, in the second round. This is an interesting section. Jabur getting in some form last week. Uh, Ostapenko made the semis last year. A couple of dangerous unseeded players too. Very interesting little section. Pavlia Chenkova can also play on clay. We know that as well. Uh, but you got to watch out for Jabur. you got to watch out for Penko. Uh, watch out for Pavlia Chenkova as well. Watch out for Tormo. Did have a pretty good week last week. Uh, did lose to Shriantek badly, but did get a couple of wins along the way. I think she beat Azarenka and Svetolina. So I'd be watching out for her as well. And the bottom part of the draw, we've got the number 16 seed Svetolina. She'll take on either Arani or Anisimova in the second round. That's a tough match. Start for Svetolina. Then you've got Sabal taking on Qualifier. Winner will take on the number 23 seed, Kalinskaya, second round. Then you've got the 32nd seed, Yastrzemska. She'll take on a Qualifier in the second round because we've got two qualies going at it. Then we've got Wong taking on another Qualifier. Winner will take on the number two seed, Arena Sabalenka. So a lot of qualifiers in the Sabalenka section, but the seeds are super dangerous. So even though it might look like an easy draw to start with, once we get to the third round onwards, this could be a nightmare for Sabalenka. Uh, not to mention, you know, Penko and, and Jabur possibly in a quarterfinal against Sabalenka could be tough as well. But uh, this section, of course, in the semifinals will take on the Rabakina se uh, section. So we could be getting Sabalenka taking on Rabakina like we did last week in Madrid. We could be getting Sabalenka taking on Sakari. If you want to go with uh, something a little different, uh, you could get Sabalenka taking on Palini. If you want to back Palini to have a good run. Or the other side of things, you could go with Rabakina to take on Jabur. Uh, that could be an interesting matchup in a semifinal. You could be getting Rabakina taking on Ostapenko, which uh, was would have been a great match last year. I don't know if they played. Did they play last year? I think they did, right? Didn't they play in the semis last year? So that could be really, really fun as well. Uh, there's a little bit of beef there. They're not super friendly. But man, interesting draw. I don't think anyone has a bad draw, though. No, like on paper. I don't think there's any like nightmare draw for anybody, really. It's pretty evenly spread. Uh, the players that are not playing well are going to have a tougher time, but that's not because of the draw. It's just because as well. WTA, by the way, has been way more consistent uh, than the men's draw. So when we go through that later, you'll, you'll see that, you know, maybe the men's draw is a little bit scarier. But what do you reckon? Who's going to win Rome? I think it's pretty open. Uh, you know, Triantec obviously has won this a few times. We're back in the defending champion. Sabalenka probably wants to get a, a, a clay title before the uh, the French Open, just like Triantec and Rabakina have got one each. Very interesting draw. Very excited about this one uh, in Rome because it was really fun last year, apart from the rain.